Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of reading uh, Unicode either from websites, files, or whatever. In this scenario we're going to kind of be framing this around Twitter. Um, but the next question that you're going to have is again if we if we reference uh, the file here so let me just pull up uh, one of our examples here you'll see that actually what's happened is Unicode is just kind of dispersed inside regular text. I'm trying to find a line. Sorry if this is like giving you all eyes and pain. I'm trying to find one that has regular text and some Unicode like thrown into it. Let me zoom out. Oh, here we go, right here. Right? So, die press CC for Arabic, and then it's got like a, I guess, a new line. I'm not sure why that new line is there in a tweet, but anyway. Um, then you've got some Unicode here, and also, you know, Twitter's Unicode. Um, also includes their little smileys and all that stuff. So it's not just languages, it's any symbol. Um, so anyway, here's a line, right, that has both um, Unicode and regular text. And you'll see that as, as it's tossing you Unicode, it's not giving you that required uh, you. Remember I was saying that like if you just print out this as a string, it's not going to give you what you want. So how do we actually get what we want from this? So, um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, I think we'll just, I think we'll just delete all of this, right? Because now, now what we're we're trying to do is, let's say you've you've saved your output to, like, say you're reading from Twitter or another website that's doing this to you, and you've saved your output, it's going to be saved in that format that I just showed you. It's not going to have this this lovely U prior. So now, how do we handle that? Like, if you're reading from a database or in our case, I'm just going to use a sample uh, a CSV. So we're just going to say sample file equals open, and in here my sample file is small arabic.csv, and we're going to use uh, read for this. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm not well. I can't put these uh, since these are like actual tweets. Um, I won't be able to put these up. I was thinking I was going to put like some of these sample files up on my website, but I I can't because I don't own the rights to that. So I. Like Twitter's pretty bad about uh, <laughs> like you can't store tweets for longer than like 24 hours and all this stuff. So um, I won't even be able to put these up on my website. But if you if you are following uh, either my stream tutorial, you can get your own sample file. I do show how you can save it in a CSV or a text, and then also it, you can just like you can view Twitter Control U and it, same thing. Like they're they're pasted out there in JSON format as well. <laughs> Interestingly enough, anyway. Um, so you'll have to get the sample file on your own. I, I literally, I just can't legally put that up. But anyway, um, dot read. So my file is called small Arabic. It's just, small Arabic just refers to, it's a small sample of Arabic text, and then I've got a larger sample of Arabic text. Uh, so that's why it's called small. Anyway, um, split file is going to equal sample file dot split by new line. And then we're going to do for each line in split file. Um, we'll just print each line for now so we can see what we're working with here and just show you that one, it's, um, it's you know, Arabic and Unicode. There is no U prior to tell you, hey, this is Unicode, by the way. And even now, the console is not automatically converting it either because it's just treating it like a string. So the next thing you need to do is convert it, or, or no, I guess you're not really converting it necessarily, but you're notifying, um, and you are at least putting it into the x variable what you want. So x equals each line dot n code. So this sounds pretty uh, typical, I would assume for you guys. UTF dash eight. But um, let me show you here what what happens. See, normally each line is strictly uh, string format, but now let's see what happens when we've uh, encoded it into UTF-8 format. So like ASCII characters are a part of uh, UTF-8, right? So like it goes like ASCII, and then I forget what comes after ASCII, but there's like two of the more uh, common ones, and then you've got all the crazy symbols following. And so UTF-8 encompasses ASCII, but this is now Unicode, right? And so um, anyway, let's just print it to console so you can see what I'm yippy yapping about. So you can see there's really um, 
no, oops, no difference in what we're seeing so far. But now what we can do is notify it that actually um, now what we want to do is decode this encoded UTF-8, okay, and we want to do it in Unicode-escape. And this is because um, we're notifying it that Unicode is being escaped. So you can look here, every Unicode character is not just a U, because like that's the definition of this Unicode character, right? It's the 630th Unicode. But it's also, but to notify um, us that it is Unicode, it's an escape Unicode and then the number. So that's how we can notify um, our machine how this should be read. So x.decode Unicode dash escape. Escape. So now when we do this, you'll see that we got text and Arabic. And there's our message that I was talking about earlier. As you can see, that box that even Twitter couldn't get, we got, and that's just a heart. So, um, so that pretty much should cover everything you would need to know as far as like reading Arabic from websites, any especially like Twitter. Um, obviously, your output might be the entire JSON with Twitter, depending on like what you're uh, pulling specifically from Twitter. But if you convert it from um, just your typical ASCII to UTF-8, which encompasses ASCII characters, you can get everything that you want, and then you just need to define uh, what is specific Unicode. Because all the definition for Unicode and the numbers and all that, uh, that's done with typical ASCII characters, right? So you just have to tell it how to read it. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. So then from that point, you can either um, compare... Uh, either convert to Unicode, because that's, you know, our, our, all the symbols are going to be in Unicode anyways, so you can compare symbol to symbol, or you can even uh, compare something like um, the Unicode itself, you know, the code of the Unicode, uh, compare that to the code for the other, for the other symbol, uh, depending on how you want to do that, if you're going to do any analysis. But if all you're looking to do is just display this somehow, this would be how, how you would do it. So hopefully that has uh, helped some of you guys out. Again, that was pretty highly requested that uh, that people were, were kind of confused as far as how to do it. And as far as like looking around online, I couldn't really find too much, too many examples to like link anybody to. So uh, hopefully that's useful for some of you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, the subscriptions, and until next time.